Hey everyone, John at Cross. It's been a couple weeks. I've been waiting for this thing to get finished. It is one of our first JT Gladiator trucks. I know there's been a lot of information and videos out. I wanted to get one built before I put one out there. So, started life as the all new Gladiator. And I'll go through a little bit of that here in a second. I'd like to start at the suspension. So this is a Mopar lift. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's one of the only guys actually doing a suspension right now because it just landed. It's a two and a half inch lift. They did uh, team up with Fox Shocks. The thing drives fantastic, very similar to stock. And then uh, we went ahead and threw on a set of AEV Bora spun copper bead locks and a brand new set of 37 inch BFG KM3s. It's the first time we've seen these tires so far and they handle fantastic on the street. I'm excited to see what they perform like off-road as well. So coming around to the front, uh, very, very similar to a JL. You're not gonna notice a ton of difference. Uh, upgraded headlight package, same Rubicon hood and front bumper, which should make accessorizing these pretty nice because you should be able to interchange some parts between the Jeep and the truck, which is gonna be great for you guys that like to upfit. Something you're not gonna see on the JL is it does come available with a forward-facing camera. You guys that are gonna be on the trail are really gonna appreciate that. It also has a feature called off-road pages, lets you see what's going on with articulation and a couple other things. I just did a, a challenge course in one of these and was very, very impressed with the data coming back to me live over the screen and how capable the truck was uh, as a whole. So walking around to the side, we'll get into the middle. So this has a saddle brown leather interior. <clears throat> You're gonna notice, again, it's very similar to a JL. Couple grab handles here, same removable panels in the top. Not a ton of difference just sitting in the cockpit. The back is where you're gonna start seeing some differences. So excuse the mess back here, we do have some, some soft top bags. So because you lose the rear completely, they've added storage. So it's gonna be hard to see in the video, but you do have some space back here. And uh, what I thought was really clever is you have a couple keyholes on the seat here. That's to lock. So just like a JL or a JK Wrangler, the top is completely removable. This is gonna be the only truck on the market with a soft top available, which is pretty slick. And because of that, you can go ahead and lock your rear seats back and you get quite a bit of storage back there for anything you're gonna need locked down at all times if you're running around with your top off. I thought it was pretty clever. That was one of my concerns when I saw this is unless you have a bed cover, where are you gonna put your stuff if you got a soft top? So coming around to the back, we'll talk about the truck bed. Another thing I've been very impressed with is, is how capable the truck is on payload, towing, and bed size. I'm a woodworker for fun. I'm always hauling stuff and I just wasn't sure they were gonna make this bed big enough. It's actually five feet long. It's, it's actually very generous if you look at other trucks in the class. It also has a soft close feature, so that's wide open. And then if I wanted to get it halfway so I can keep stuff in there, I can go ahead and hook it around these hooks, raises it halfway. Again, I'm always hauling wood related things, so sheets of plywood were another question I had for the training. Uh, you can actually fit an entire sheet of plywood back here and with it leaned up like this, it's gonna stick out to about there, but still fully capable there. They also had the off-road kind of fun gear head in mind. So with this down, it is long enough for things like dirt bikes or an ATV, very, very capable. And again, the towing capacity really shocked me. Equipped properly with the max tow package, you're gonna get over 6,000 pounds of towing capacity out of basically an oversized Wrangler, which is just awesome. They also didn't extend the frame, which is what something I thought they were gonna do. This is a brand new frame for this vehicle and it drives appropriately like it is. Uh, it, it's just fantastic. The road manners are awesome. The reviews coming back are all kind of the same, the same thing I've seen. It's, it's impressive. It just handles great. Uh, you do pick up backup camera and some backup sensors as well. Um, you can get blind spot monitoring. You're not really getting up any of the creature comforts you would expect in any vehicle in the price point uh, the top level ones are here. It's, it's just a great day-to-day -day driver, which is something I know a lot of people have been concerned about. Uh, for any more questions about the JT in general, 
or if you'd like to talk about this particular unit, please feel free to give us a shout at 502-459-9900. You can always subscribe to our YouTube page for more of me and uh, Cross and Jeeps. Make sure you like our Facebook page too. I'm John, I'll talk to you guys next week.